Yo, yo, another voiceover. Uh, mid low skin fade um, and no guard technique. You know, we're gonna start this thing off by tilt mode, tilt mode, tilt mode, pressure, pressure, pressure. You know, the visual, the visual, that's what I'm giving you. The visual so you can achieve. If I can achieve, you can achieve. You know, uh, you know, in all my videos, I talk about debulking before I get my phase started. So I'm at debulk mode. Debulk mode consists of tilting, blade open. Um, my technique, you know, consists of um, blade open, tilt gain, pressure, uh, knowing your clipper. And at the same time, you know, knowing your client, cutting the hair a couple of times. You know, when you see a lot of barbers, when they're doing their... Uh, their no guard technique with the trimmers best believe that's probably a customer they have been cutting for years and they just know the the customer's hair they understand the customer's hair they know that clipper you know they've been cutting with that clipper um i just did a, a comb down and now again i'm just going in and catching all my you see uh where the hair is choppy you can see where the line is and i'm just going and i'm just picking that thing out you know now we're gonna go ahead and start on the fade because I got everything debulked to a good level to where I can start my skin fade, uh, no guard technique. And man, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was everywhere with this one. Only thing I can really explain to you is the debulking, you know, because a, a lot of this haircut consists of me having my blade open and tilting and pressure and uh, just knowing the head shape of the customer and how far and how much pressure I need to put to achieve uh, a fade level as, as if I faded from a one guard up to a four guard because I'm assuming that's what I probably use if I was guarding it. I would be a one guard all the way up to a four, maybe a five, probably a four and then a uh, scissor uh, shear, sorry, the size to even everything out. So you see, as I'm combing, see with black hair, I wouldn't have to comb that. You know, I would just go straight through it because it's just different. But with his type hair, his textured hair, I comb it to see everything that I need to straighten out that's uneven or leaving a line in. And I, and I can achieve that just from muscle memory, just from consistent with the clipper that I'm using and knowing this customer's hair. You know, I probably do a bit. Now, if I wasn't holding the phone, I would be cutting and combing, cutting and combing, you know, or cutting and brushing. But I have to, you know, put the clipper down and do my cone. I'm sorry about that. But it's just to show you, you know, training the hair as you're cutting it, combing it or brushing it in the direction that you needed to go to see all the flaws in it. You know what I mean? So, uh, this video is really for a good visual learner. You know, you see how I'm getting there, soft touches, soft pressure, tilt mode, you know, different tilt levels at different parts of the hair. It's just different. It's, uh, it's, it's just something that's, you're going to have to work on this. It's going to take some hours and years to get this confident, you know. But if I can achieve it, you can achieve it. If I can do it, you can do it. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give you a visual on what could happen, what could be in your barbershop with your risk gain, with your confidence level. You know, uh, this is the highest level of barbering. If you see a barber out there not using a guard on their haircuts and it's coming out consistent, on majority of their haircuts on their clients, that's a master barber. He he is he he or she is at their highest, not at their highest level peak, at the barbering level highest level peak. That's what you that's what you're witnessing and that's what you're watching. And like I said, if I can achieve it, if they can achieve it, you can too. But it takes you. How bad do you want it? putting in that word you know 
when you go in the barbershop, it's, it's all concentration on the haircut. Man, I, you know, most barbers get it twisted. They come in with their family problems, their home problems, or feeling some type of way about another barber problem. Man, you need to cut that out and focus on the cut. You know what I mean? We signing out. Y'all stay focused. Barber life. Fuck a guard technique.